What is up guys, I am John White here and I'm going to basically explain how to get some HDR uh, imaging and it's basically high dynamic range imaging, it's taking one picture and bringing out the colors uh, in the mids, the highs and also the lows and making them stick out without over contrasting it. So um, here's an example, here's a picture I took in my backyard with the uh, Canon 60D and a 20 to 300 uh, meter lens and this is how I made it look better and this is how it originally was. So there's quite a difference here, <clears throat> and I basically was able to go through, find the colors I want, and make it look a little better. Um, unfortunately, it was a cloudy day, so uh, I couldn't really do anything with the sky, but I did the best I could with this. So there wasn't really any clouds, which is usually you'll see in an HDR picture. Um, but let's get going with this. I'm going to delete this. All right, cool. Now, usually, people assume that you have to have... Uh, three pictures of the same scene with different exposures. Now, that would be the blend for the images. Now, I found out a way. Um, it's kind of just a fake way, but it gets the same idea of doing this HDR uh, style. So what I do is I take one image, that's all you need, and I'm going to take this layer, I'm going to control J or command J three times, and then uh, go to my adjustments. Uh, it should be over here in this panel. If you can't find that, go to window and then click adjustments and what I'll do is I'll click exposure um, I'll go to this little tally mark right here next to the eye to the left of the eye and I'll click down what that does is it locks it to the layer behind it and I'll start with my dark colors first so I'll turn my exposure down just as if it were on a camera picking up um, a low exposure maybe but to about one and I'll turn my gamma correction up a little bit and what this will do will separate some of the darks a little bit more detailed and it'll really bring out the picture a little bit more and I'll just put that up a lot. You don't want to go crazy. You don't want to go up here. Um, you just want to find a nice, nice amount that's not too crazy. So now I got that. Now I'm going to highlight both these by holding Control and selecting both of them. I'm going to right click and I'm going to merge layers. Let it do its thing. And then I'm going to turn that off. So now I got that exposure one, and I'm going to go to the layer under it, which is my other copy. I'm going to set another, another exposure. Uh, lock it down to the layer behind it turn my exposure up this time as you can see it's really just getting that sky um, turning it bright which it, so we're losing most of the sky and a little bit around the trees alright so now I'm gonna turn my gamma correction up again because that's really important it'll really fix a lot of the picture in the end and I'll just link the two and merge them again so now we got our exposure two and then we've got our original image which I'm going to go to my exposure again for the third time, and I'm just going to turn my gamma correction up. Oh, got a phone call. And we'll merge them. Sorry about the phone, but I'm going to let it keep going. Alright. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my darker image and I put it in the middle. I'm going to set it to viewable. And I'm going to take my blending mode and set it to soft light. Uh, la, 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 la. I don't want you to hear my uh, voicemail. It's kind of weird. All right. So now I'm going to take my top exposure, which is the brighter one, set that on, and I'm going to go to soft light also. So as you can see, it's really starting to bring out a lot of the picture. Um, to be honest, if we just don't want a lot of it to stick out, what I do is I'll start masking. So I'll click this layer. And I may just see what parts I want. Um, I really want a lot of the middle of these trees to stick out a little more. Um, and I like the way the fence is looking at the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click my mask my mask setting right here. And <clears throat> make sure it's got this white part selected. Anything that's white will stay. Anything black will go. So I go to my paintbrush and go to the black color. And I'm just going to kind of go across where I don't want it to show up. And as you'll start seeing, it's going to start brightening up just a little bit. And we could probably mm, keep a little bit of the corners of the sky at almost a vignette to it, um, but not too crazy. Alright, cool. So we got that, and what I want to do now is add a curves adjustment. And just kind of kind of boost it. Um, what I'm paying attention to is the grass. Um, and I, I already know I got the trees at a pretty good level. We don't want to overdo it, contrast it like this. 
So I'm just going to kind of take it and turn this up a little bit, brighten up the grass until it's a nice, a nice uh, recognizable color. And let me turn this down a little. And then, since I can, it's already set to a mask, I'm going to take my paintbrush, make sure I pass these up, and pretty much just go across all this top portion um, all the way up to the fence line. And I'm going to stop right there. So now, what I've got is this brightened up grass uh, and kind of near the fence line. We brought that up a lot more, so it looks a lot better than it did before. Um, we fixed, here's the brightness on the trees, which we can also bring up again if we'd like. And then we've got our darker portion of the image kind of contrasting right here, which we can also go through and we can start changing until we find an even better setting. Because sometimes you'll find a different blending mode that will really um, stick out a little better. Um, but I really found that soft light works compared to everything else. So we got that going. And this is how it's looking so far. Um, let's look at our original image we had. Here's our original, and this is what we have now. So it's doing pretty good, and we're still not done. So we need to add one, one more adjustment layer for right now. And we'll see how it is after that. Um, we're going to add some vibrance. So put that on and turn the vibrance up. Now since it's just kind of scenery, uh, I can usually get away with boosting it a pretty good amount and turning up the saturation. Um, but what I'm, as you can see in the fence line, it's kind of green. So I'll just grab my paintbrush again. As you can see, it's already got a mask set up. Um, I'm just going to resize it to a decent size, about the same as the fence. And I'm just going to mask the fence out of this. And that's pretty good for right now. Um, you pay a little bit more detail, close attention to detail if you are uh, really focusing on it, but for the sake of tutorial, that's good enough for now. So, I'll do one more thing to really brighten it up, and I'm going to hold Control shift and n or Command-Shift-N, uh, make a new layer, and I'm going to go to my gradients, make sure it's kind of uh, black to white, and I've got it set to radial, and mm, we'll just start at the ground, and we'll just pull it up to about here. So we got that, and we're going to change the blend mode. Um, something that'll really just pop the colors a little bit more. Um, this looks good. Let's go with overlay. Overlay or soft light will really work for this. We're going to go with overlay for now. Um, since it is white and black, I'm going to take my paintbrush and I'm actually going to go to the color white and maybe just change the size, just make it nice and big. And I'm just going to kind of highlight up the center all the way through here. Um, so that's really going to make the colors pop out a lot more, and it's really going to fade um, areas we don't really want in the picture. So what we're doing right now is taking the paintbrush, choosing what parts we want to focus it on, and it's almost like a spotlight on there um, is what it's working as. Here's without, and here's with it. Um, I'm going to take that. I'm going to turn the opacity down because we don't want it too much. We just want it to bring the colors of the trees out a little bit more because as you can see here, it's a little dark, and now it's not. So looking good like that and we're pretty much done from that point so let's compare the original and what we've done all right so that's the original and if we turn that off here's what we have now um, of course it might be a little contrasted but this is looking pretty good to be honest let's see let's check out the detail Oh, another phone call well, you know um but it's looking good and that's about it so we did this all to one image, a few adjustments layers, and we pretty much got the same effect as an HDR um, photo map with three. Uh, I'll do this again with another picture coming soon to show something with more clouds and how to uh, separate those from the picture. So I'm John White. Subscribe. More tutorials coming soon.